here I'm just going to show you a situation where we have two genes here and these two genes are actively being transcribed. So you have RNA polymerase and we're making an mRNA molecule. And of course mRNA is always created or extended from the 5 prime end to the 3 prime end. Right, so you have RNTPs being added to the 3 prime end to extend the mRNA. And on the other side, gene 2, we also have this situation. So it's always going to be 5 prime to 3 prime. And as you can see, they're actually being transcribed in opposite directions. So now let's label the actual single strands here. So you see we have a light blue strand and a dark blue strand. So what would we call the strand that acts as the guide or the template for the mRNA? Well, it simply is just the template strand. Right, so this is where the RNA polymerase uh, adds RNTPs that are complementary to the template strand. And that's exactly the same for gene 2. So now what do we call this light blue strand for gene 1? Well, we can simply call it the non-template strand, right? So what about coding strands, right? You, heard that, you hear that word often. Um, well, the coding strand is actually the non-template strand. You see for both sides. And that will make the template strand the non-coding strand. And now there's another word for coding the coding strand. And we simply call this the sense strand. And that would make the non-coding strand anti-sense. Right, so it's basically named the sense strand uh, because it makes sense. And this is what the ribozymes sense when they're expressing the mRNA. So this is due to the fact that the coding strand actually has the exact codons built into it. So what's really neat about, about that is when you look at the coding strand, it will actually be an exact copy of the mRNA except that the T's are a place with U sorry the T's are a place with U and you can actually have the same sequence So that's really great if you if you have the mRNA and you don't know which is the coding strand, well you can just look at the, for the one that has the same sequence. Or in the other direction, if you want to know what the mRNA is, you just look at the coding strand and copy that and then just re replace the T's with U's. So like I said, the sense strand, this is what the ribosomes sense, right? You're sensing the codons, and this is what ex is ultimately expressed into proteins. So this is what the cell will sense as what to make. So that makes sense if it's the sense strand, but the opposite strand is the antisense strand, right? doesn't make sense. Another thing we can add here is the position of the promoter region. So basically, the promoter region for both of these 
genes will be somewhere in this region. So where it starts the transcription. So as you might have noticed, if you follow this dark blue strand, in this case it's a template strand, but then you follow it to gene two, this is the non-template strand. This is actually a coding strand for gene two. So as you can see that genes can actually be transcribed in in either direction, right? So the coding strand can be on the top strand or the bottom strand. It really doesn't matter. It's just what happens in the genome, right? So it'd be incorrect, say if this was a whole one complete chromosome, you couldn't just label one entire strand the coding strand or one entire strand the non-coding strand. That would just be incorrect. So I hope you guys learned something and have a good day.